Welcome back, Foothills Trapper here. Um, just doing a little bit of scouting. For some reason, you can't turn these iPhones around. I'd show you a picture, maybe I, you can see it anyway. We've really got some rain. And uh, I'm gonna have to come back and refresh my coyote traps. I made a couple dirt holes up there and a step over. <laughs> Uh, right over there looks like a good spot for some good clean roads and I'm trying to get all the sticks out of this road here uh, in hopes that uh, and that creek's moving pretty good I was going to go across it but I ain't going to do that I think it might be deeper than my hip waders <laughs> that'd be a mess well, anyway, uh, <clears throat> I know they're here because the landowner says he hears them down here all the time. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of them for him. But uh, I just set them yesterday and I'd be doggone if it didn't do all this rain. I'm just trying to do a little lead work <clears throat> while it's wet and they're all dimmed up somewhere but I'll let you know if I get one I appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, you know this right here would be a perfect spot see well that road comes up here and that road goes that way and then that way, I'm thinking it'd be a perfect dirt I think they're killing these baby calves too. So I'm gonna have to, kinda under a time crunch, I'm hoping to be able to get rid of them for him. Because he does have a lot of cows. But, uh, <clears throat> well I mean what do you do when you see all this crazy man crazy every one of my whole sets are covered up with water and I've had to you know trench it out where the water would come out I mean there's trails everywhere around here, of course there's deer everywhere, but uh, I got the number four offset, and that ought to get them, so we'll see what happens, uh, stay tuned, you never know, see ya, okay, welcome back, welcome back, Foothills Trapper, I believe I'm going to get this tune right here, I've had a lot of luck putting uh, footholds in, in the creek, and what I've done is I've uh, piled up a few rocks because they like to go cr crawdad hunting. And so I just uh, put me up a few rocks, kind of offset this a little, where to get him in the back foot or the front foot, either one will work. But as far as trying to conceal it from a coon, you ain't never got to do that. They don't, matter of fact, shiny stuff attracts them. And uh, so I'm hoping to get one here. The coons have been getting smarter and they've been getting more elusive, but it looks like I've outsmarted them once again. I thank goodness. Hey, look at there. Thank God. Look at there. That's a pretty coon, boy. Yep. One of them dogless traps. I tell you, them things really work good. And, uh, so anyway, I guess I'll dispatch him and move on to my next set. I hope that, uh, I have one there. I do know that I had one close to this one around the corner i tried to put a connie bear and i told you before that you know <clears throat> i don't know what it is maybe they realize it's something different or whatever it may be but uh sardines seem to do the trick they're they're you know good and stinky and all that good stuff but that coon down here might have been the same one that i was seeing up here but anyway i didn't get one in that trap and i've done took my connie bear home so i've got one other trap and when i look at it you know, which I have a good feeling there's probably 
one in it. But anyhow, I'll uh, be right back to you. It is a uh, good looking coon, a nice coon, and a big coon. Yep. So, uh, well, we're guess we'll uh, dispatch him and get on about our business. <laughs> 